Good morning, everybody. How are we all doing today? I've got my makeup. We're about to get started on the face. So have the whole makeup shebang here. My emotional support coffee, as I've been calling it, because I swear the past like couple of weeks, I haven't done anything or been anywhere without some kind of coffee in my hand. Quite often decaf at the moment because <laughs> I'm going to talk to you about that in a minute. Yeah, we are on a life update today, people. Also, how cute is my jumper? It's from Misguided. This video is going to contain an integrated pay for partnership with Misguided. I've got some lovely bits to show you from them because they asked me if I'd like to pick out some pieces and I was like, yeah, I would. I would love that. Thank you. So yeah, I've got some lovely summary bits from them and I've been obsessed with this jumper and desperately trying not to get any stains on it between when was it arrived like monday this week and now i've done such a good job the collar is still white <laughs> so rare but yeah i'm feeling good today slightly like jittery because i'm gonna give you a little li life update i can't speak i was fine before i had to actually open my mouth <laughs> and talk on camera though so yeah doing good today which is good but also weird because i feel like when i do a life update i normally do it once i've reached an okay place where i'm no longer crying and yeah it just makes me feel like i watch it back and i'm like you do come off as a slight sociopath because you are slightly disconnected from what you're saying you've been through but i'm just having a good day okay people i'm not actually a sociopath so let me live you know what i'm actually gonna start with i'm actually gonna start with lip balm because i always get really dry lips though i don't get grief for it as much as i used to now kind of weird this lip balm i'm loving is the glossierbalm.com coconut flavor oh it's just the best one i'm gonna start off with the chanel le beige water fresh tint i always call this like beauty water because i actually forget what it's called every time i use it i've actually been preferring this at the moment over the by terry cc serum which is shocking because that is just one of my absolute favorite products again my skin's not great like i had a good two week period between one of my last vlogs where I was like, my skin's not great. That serves me right for being so cocky about my great skin, blah, blah, blah. And it's, it's gone spotty again this week, which I feel like it's just maybe a representation of how I'm feeling on the inside. Cause I have no other reason for it being bad. I'm just not letting it stress me out. Cause I feel like sometimes, oh no, did I get some on the collar? Let's just do more of that. I feel like sometimes when you let your skin stress you out, it just gets worse. I just know that it will always get better because I managed to make it better before. So by the time this video goes up, I feel like we will have been on one video a week for just a couple of weeks now. I don't think that's gonna stay that way. Things have just been a bit messy recently. And I've just had to take a few moments to like collect myself. And there's been a lot of anxiety and a lot of external things also making me anxious on top of my already existing anxiety, which is not ideal. So yeah, apologies for the lack of suits over the past couple of weeks. At least if nothing else, last week's video was like a 50 minute special. So it was almost two videos in one so i hope that made up for it anyway my anxiety has been very 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 bad lately i would say the worst it's been since about 2016 when i actually had to take a step back from life for a little bit not ideal that my therapist has also been so busy she can't have me anymore as a client so i am currently on the search for a new therapist which is just adding to the anxiety i'm actually trying to tell you about this without actually reliving the past few weeks in my brain because it has been very bad like when i try and carry on life when my anxiety is very bad as well the symptoms get the physical symptoms get worse so it's not just like i feel a bit anxious anymore it's like it comes out in so many different forms and that was why back in 2016 i had a really bad time with it because i had been squashing it down for so long that it came out in like the doctors thought i had had a stroke which i i'm not even i'm not joking they were actually worried but this time it has been coming out in some quite severe migraines i won't go into detail on the migraines because they they're they're bad 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 migraines so it's not really been ideal on that front it's just been a lot going on a lot of things that have triggered it and yeah it's not it's not been the best time on top of that i have a family member who is very 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 unwell and i will leave you to read between the lines of like what i mean by very 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 unwell outlook not good which does tend to give you a little bit of an existential crisis does anyone else get that because i really do so yeah earlier this week i actually decided to just step back a little bit breathe we had some nice weather ryan took me on a date he took me on a picnic date and it was just the cutest cutest day ever yes i'm well aware by the way that i've been doing my foundation for like five minutes now <laughs> let me live so yeah i'll flash back to earlier this week when we went on our date and i'll do my foundation and be back with you So I 
also let you feed ducks with bread because that was like the joy of my childhood. So I'm about to try the Plant Kitchen New York style no salt beef. I'm excited for you. All the time. I get really jealous. It's nice. Mm. Do you like them like New York sort of pastrami? Oh my god, I love. It's yeah. my favorite. That's what I get when I go to Bagel Man. Yeah. I need some more mustard. Where's the sandwich? There's half missing. I don't know why. Mm, funny that. No egg. Watercress. I've got to take it out of the middle, really. I never start in the middle. Ready yeah, no, start, need, I start you? on the edge. Yeah. Sure. Mm. What's the verdict? This could be egg. That's what I thought. <laughs> Strawberries. We've got some crudité. Is that how you say it? I have no idea. <laughs> crudité. <laughs> Sweet chili hummus. And a lovely raspberry lemonade. I think you'd be a good blogger, you know. <laughs> You would! <laughs> Hi! Hey guys! Tuesday I actually can't tell you what I did Tuesday this is part of the real issue with anxiety and I'm sure so many other people get this is you get real brain fog like there's so much going on and so much adrenaline and the adrenaline kind of like blocks out big chunks of time in your memory so Tuesday I actually really don't know what I did oh I saw my friend in the evening for her birthday and that will be the last bit of socialization that I will be doing for a little while one of my friends actually said she was like I'm done with socialising now, I'll see you guys in August and <laughs> the group's like, honey, we've got a wedding in July. But I felt that on like another level, I actually genuinely would like to just hibernate for a month, work on myself and come back and just be like, I'm back, I've taken some time. It's obviously not possible, so I won't actually be doing that. But I think in terms of like a social hibernation, definitely needed. I'm very glad that the weather has started to cool off. We've got like thunderstorms and stuff that you get like after very hot spells or warm spells in the UK because people keep having a go at me for saying it's a heat wave, but that's what the weatherman calls it. So, but yeah, we've got those kind of like post warm weather thunderstorms. So no socializing, which I think will work out for me very well. So yeah, that was Tuesday. Then Wednesday I went and had my vaccine. I'm very grateful that actually Lauren and I were booked to have our vaccines like on the same day. So we've been able to kind of like check in on each other in real time and talk about how we're feeling, which has really, really helped me because I've not been feeling so great. I actually had like two minutes left of my 15 minute wait where they like make you wait 15 minutes to check you're okay. Two minutes left, I literally was getting my stuff ready to go and the room started spinning and I felt sick and the color must have gone from my face because there was a woman that literally looked at me and she was like looking at me and I just kind of looked at her and I just went, she just immediately like had me on the floor. You could tell I was feeling a bit better by this point because there's a photo of me with a biscuit that I sent to literally all of my friends. And they're like, how was your vaccine? I was like, of course, I have ended up on the floor. Literally, I came out, Ryan very kindly took me. My vaccine center was quite far away. So he took me to my vaccine, very nice of him. And he was waiting outside and I came out and he was like, it would be you, wouldn't it? That actually has a funny turn. It will always be me, I'm very delicate. I don't like being that person. I love being that person that's like, I'm fine, I'm great. I'm not fine and I'm not great. <sighs> what a joke. So that really didn't help my anxiety either. It was not cute. And today I can't really lift my arm very high. So today's activities are gonna be interesting. I have no idea how I am going to get myself dressed because Ryan's had to be helping me. Yeah, my arm hurts, my back hurts weirdly. And I felt so uncomfortable while sleeping because 
I just felt really uncomfortable, like everything ached. Basically, I felt like I was lulled into a full sense of security because all of my other friends were like, I was fine, I was great. And then I was like, why, why me? But Lauren is actually feeling the same, which makes me feel a lot better. But yeah, just very annoying that that did not go smoothly for me. You know what I'm like, you guys, I'm a massive perfectionist and I like to, I like to adapt well to things. And I was actually feeling quite confident going in. Like I wasn't really anxious at all. There were two girls either side of me they did not make it in. And so I was really proud that I like made it in, made it through. I'm not good with needles basically. Backstory, any piercing that I have ever had, any injection, any blood, oh God, having blood taken. Well, like, I like to be one of those people that's like a real trooper. No, every time, every time it's like a real involuntary reaction that my body has to <laughs> any kind of needle. Sometimes it can even be in the days following, but tattoo me for five hours. I'm absolutely fine. So strange. I can't remember where I was going with this, but very annoying. But I thought I'd share because I know that it would have helped me if I'd have known that other people and their bodies reacted that way because I wouldn't have felt so abnormal. Though the woman at the vaccination center was like, yeah, this has actually happened a lot today. <laughs> they think it was the warm weather. I don't know because I'm not a healthcare professional, but yeah, I'm actually feeling much, much, much better now. I felt a bit crummy this morning, but I'm feeling a hundred times better right now. So fingers crossed my aches are gonna go away and everything is gonna be fantastic. So that is what I've been up to lately. I thought I would just give you guys a brief little overview of what is going on, especially with family things. I might need to take some time slightly unexpectedly. I'm not sure. And I know with me saying this, there'll be so many lovely comments that are like, you don't need to explain. You don't need to tell us, take your time. But one thing that upsets me more than anything is like when somebody is going through anything like especially a bereavement and there are some people on the internet that just don't take a moment to think about the fact that you're a real person with like real things going on i once had a friend who was in a similar situation and received the worst abuse for months and months on end that i've ever known and it was it was disgusting and they had to deal with that bereavement all the while receiving the most abuse for just being non-present on the internet. And I don't want that. Like, I just want to be able to be there for my family, knowing that like, I've kind of updated everyone. So yeah, that is why. And I also just really like to be able to live on the internet quite openly. I find I talk much more comfortably if I just every so often give you a big life update on where I'm at, if I'm like really struggling emotionally, mentally with anything, just like saying it and then moving on really really helps me and it helps me to be my best self for you guys because i'm not keeping something back okay that's my eyebrows done i've been loving the anastasia brow wiz again i used to live for this back in the day and i've got an updated brow pomade and a brow wiz which i'm very happy about still kind of getting the hang of being a little bit more light-handed with it though because it's a little bit dark i would say fortunately my brow gel which is the glossier boy brow isn't particularly dark i've just got the brown one which is actually a little bit lighter than my brow hairs so i'm finding it kind of like offsets a little bit and helps to brighten and lighten the eyebrows and just not make them look too crazy though they look really crazy right now on camera but it's fine right so liner i've taken my eyeliner application to the next level in terms of its like complexity but i'm finding this achieves the best results for me i love the mac liquid liner it stays all day it stays very well considering how like hot it's been and how much spf is on my face at all times okay we've gone for strapless because it's getting a bit too flustered in my sweatshirt for mascara i'm gonna use glossier lash slick this mascara tube is so cute this actually if i wear like a tiny bit of liquid liner like yesterday i didn't do a flick i just did like a tiny bit of liquid liner along my top lash you might have seen in the photo where i'm lying on the floor with the biscuit but my lashes look really good but like lash extensiony and this basically i think just makes your lashes look like lash extensions which is really cool i will say this mascara works it's best if you have very good lashes already hey, look at that i wouldn't even say you need to have like long lashes you just need to have like nicely even lashes and this will do great things for you they are so long my lashes are fairly long, but they're not this long. This is great. Next, I'm gonna bronze, and I've actually been using this skin tint from Iconic. It's the Radiance Booster, but they sent it to me in a few shades. One that's my like regular shade, but then also this one, which is Caramel Glow. So it's a little bit darker than my actual skin tone. I don't know if you can tell in this light. It basically just gives me a really lovely, subtle bronze. I think I've applied too much, but we'll just work it in. It's fine. This is actually one of my favorite ways to bronze my skin and have it like look 
very very natural so i'm essentially using a foundation as a liquid bronzer one i do want to try though is one of the nude sticks minis from alana's collab with nude sticks i've been really intrigued by this i actually this is one of the products that sits in my makeup bag that i take to ryan's house which is always like a minimal makeup bag because generally when i stay there i'm not working so i don't do like a full full face i'm gonna use the highlighter from the kit as well i'm not going to use picante though which is this lovely orange shade just because i'm trying on clothes today and there's some blues and i hate trying on cool toned clothing when i've got like a really warm eye look going on it just looks kind of funky to me and i'm just applying a little bit of lip liner this is kk wbt new one which is a really nice like pinky nude very similar to my natural lip color like a cool toned pinky nude i just love cool tones in lip liners it's so rare that brands get it right now one product i've been really enjoying is the hourglass blush stick in the shade wonder i think this is the universal one that i've heard like every girl talking about on youtube because this would suit any skin tone i think i personally love the very bright orangey red one as well but this seems to be the real all-rounder for everybody i've really been enjoying it because it also makes a great lip color as well so i was wearing this on monday when we went for our picnic day if you were wondering what is on my lips and cheeks it is this it works so beautifully and then i'm gonna take a lip brush just because i have one but you can literally just dab it on like when i was out i didn't bother with a lip brush so that's the kind of color and i haven't put any hair yet it's just a really beautiful nudie pinky peach very very similar to my favorite KKW lipstick which is the lip liner equivalent is nude 0.5 and the lipstick is like 90s supermodel I love it if you want like a dupe for that you can get your hands on in the UK this is basically I'm gonna swatch both on my hands so you can see because I would say they're probably the most similar I found so very similar I would say this one's just a fraction warmer really shows on camera to my eye literally a fraction but there is a more cool toned version of this i believe this is a more cool toned version let me double check this yeah but yeah you can see from further away they are very 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 similar yeah that is my makeup today very minimal very like glowy kind of natural would look a lot more natural without the brows and eyeliner but you can pair it back as well and it looks super gorgeous and flawless but like natural at the same time i'm just gonna run some product through my hair to give it like a real sheen and then i'm pretty much ready for my day so i just wanted to show you guys the sweatshirt before i crack on with trying on some clothes i'm obsessed with this it's so cute real like 90s vibes i love a 90s vibe i love cycle shorts in the summer and white sweatshirts just work so perfectly with my cycle shorts so yeah this is a new favorite of mine and i'm very happy to have it in my wardrobe seeing as the rest of my white sweatshirts have seen better days they don't last long with me but i basically wear them i wear them until they go bobbly and gross and then have to be sent off to be like used as rags and stuff because i just love a white sweatshirt yeah i'm obsessed with this one i just think it's so cute so summery so 90s okay are you guys ready Let's do this. So first up, we have this cute little blue shirt. I really love this. Lauren actually wore an outfit like this the other day. And now we are going to have to be twinning because I thought it was so cute. And then saw this shirt on Misguided and I was like, I need that in my life. No stripes, just a little bit of texture. It's a really lovely, lightweight material, a little bit oversized. I think this is a small but i will confirm all of my sizing in the info box it's either a small or an extra small but it's just really lovely very long but i really like that it actually almost covers my cycle shorts it's a really lovely layering piece for the summertime if it's like a warm day and you don't want to take a jacket but you want to take something to throw over what you're wearing in case it gets a little bit chilly also a lovely one if you are on holiday and you want to wear this over your bikini not that i'm going anywhere anytime soon but you know future holidays future proofing my wardrobe this is so cute and a really nice timeless classic that can be worn in so many ways you can wear it with trousers you can tuck it into skirts you can tie it so i just feel like these are always a great piece to have in my wardrobe and this blue color is just so beautiful and a really nice one for summer next we have an off-shoulder smock dress which you guys will know i absolutely 
love i have these in black and in white the ones from misguided are nice and robust as well like the arms are very firmly stitched onto the body of the dress there's a little bit of smocking around the chest area nothing too tight and then it goes into a nice little flowy skirt this is definitely more of a midi length which is great there's also the little frill on the cuff which is really cute and they actually do this in a few different colors as well I obviously opted for the black and white because that is just my preferred choice, but they do it in a pink, I believe. It's definitely a pink and I think there's another color as well. But yeah, I love these style of dresses. They're just such easy pieces to have in your wardrobe for this time of year. Super easy to throw on and you don't really have to think too much about what you're wearing. I love that it's off shoulder, but it will still do a good job at like covering you up as well. These are my go-to style of dresses for days when I'm not really sure what the weather is doing. Like today, it's very warm, but quite rainy. So I wanna be covered, but I want to be cool. And these are like my perfect dresses. Even on warmer days, they're great as well because they're very light. So I'm a huge fan of this style of dress and I love the gingham of this one. It's really cute and really playful. So this midi dress looks slightly more outrageous than I planned considering I made this order I think last week and in just a few days my boobs have really decided to do that thing long-term viewers all know that they do this where they just decide to have a moment I don't know why they do it they just basically double in size so this is looking slightly outrageous that and the fact that I have a real severe tan line but hopefully once I rectify the tan line situation this will look slightly less outrageous this makes it look really like night out ish and it wasn't really meant to look that way but this midi dress is so lovely i have been so excited to get like a cut out midi dress i just think they're so cool they're everywhere at the moment i would really love one in a cream so misguided if you could make one in a cream that would be great this one you can actually move the kind of pieces on the chest i don't know what you would want to call these you can move them up or down to change the shape of the dress which i think is so cool i think this would look really nice with like a white shirt thrown over the top as well so yeah the black one is very chic but i actually have it in another color as well which i'm really excited to show you guys i picked both of the midi dresses up in a size six and i'm really happy with the fit my boobs being outrageous aside i will stop talking about them now but yeah very very happy with the overall fit this is what it looks like from the back. Yeah, they're very cute and i'm very happy with them for the most part i'm going to show you the blue one now so this is the blue which is also a size six, but it has so much more material around here. It's also a lot less tight, I would say. Like I can physically stretch my leg further to walk in this one than the black one. I feel like I always say this, but black dye does make clothing tighter. So I wonder if that is what has happened here. But yeah, it does look a lot more covering here. Um, everything just seems to sit differently. Even if I pull the straps up to where they were with the black one, it just has a lot more coverage, which um, I'm not mad about. I feel like the black one would fit more as like an evening, option and then this one is more of a daytime option but i love this color i think it's so so cute it is a little bit see-through like you can see my belly button but i really like this i think it's so gorgeous and such a lovely summertime dress in a really beautiful little color i definitely think this style of dress will divide opinions though like let me know what you think of this style of dress do you hate it do you rate it i would love to know so next we have a very cute little white play suit I believe the tie sides of this, like the cutout, basically you have a hole here and you can tie it as tight as you need to kind of make your waist fitted if that is what you want. However, I got this in a size eight. So I would say to get this to be fitted, like cause there's more material kind of everywhere, like even here we've got a little bit of bagginess. I think I could have done with a size six and then the cutout feature here would be a bit more apparent because as you can see with my other one, it's basically not very visible and it's one of the most lovely features of this play suit. It's one of the reasons that I picked it and ordered it and really liked it. So I think I could have done with a size six, but I do really like this design. Like I love the fact that if I had say a size six, but then I needed a bit more like breathing room around my waist, I can just adapt the play suit to that. Like I just, I live for any clothing design that allows your body to kind of fluctuate a little bit. I really, really rate that. So yeah, I love this design of play suit that I could have done maybe with a size down, but fortunately because there is the tie side, I have been able to make it work. So it's still fine. It's just, there's not as cute a, like design on the side like it's meant to be i believe a fairly sizable cutout it's still really lovely i'm very happy with it it's got a lining on the inside as well which is great not all white play suits come with that and um it can be a little bit problematic so i really rate this it's nice and like thick but not too thick that it becomes really inappropriate as a summer piece if that makes sense so yeah very happy with this overall could have done with a size down so if you are in between you could go a size down because there is that adjustability to it adjustability is that a word who cares? Yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Do you like it? Do we not like it? I think it's really cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. 
<laughs> I love this dress so much. It's so beautiful. We've got this tiered midi dress. Looking more like a maxi on me, but that's fine. Shorter girls, you know it's going to be a maxi. Taller girls, you know it will definitely be a midi on you. I'm very sad about this one though, because as you can see, I've got a lot of extra space here. <laughs> That's a lot. And this considering my chest area is like completely outrageous at the moment. Like I, I can't stress enough. It feels heavy. Like honestly, I don't know what my hormones are doing, but bearing that in mind, I'm not filling this. So I could definitely have done with a size six. I don't even want it super fitted. Like I don't need that for the summer, but this just feels like a little bit too much. And like I could fall out if I were to like lean down and grab something. However, I did pick this up in a black. So I'm interested to see if that's a little bit more fitted, but I really wanted to show you this gorgeous golden yellow color. It is so, so stunning. It's like that real sunset yellow kind of vibe. I absolutely love it. I think it's so beautiful. I probably will still wear it even though it's a little bit big, just nowhere where I'm just gonna be <laughs> moving about a lot. But yeah, this is so, so stunning. It's, oh. I just love it. So here we have the same dress in black. I love it. I'm so happy with this. It is ever so slight, ever so slightly smaller. I can't tell if it just looks smaller because it's black and it's dark and it's actually quite dark in here today because thunderstorms. Yeah, maybe it's just because it's very dark in here and I can't tell, but maybe it is slightly smaller as well because of the black dye, but I'm so happy with this one. I love it. I love the yellow, like the yellow brings me so much joy, but this is so chic. Like I will get so much wear out of this. I absolutely love it. I love the tiered skirt. It's so, so beautiful. I'm a sucker for a tiered skirt, basically. And the top is so lovely. It sits really nicely. I love the straps. It's got adjustable straps. Both the different colors do, which I am very happy about. I have just adjusted them a little to lift to this point, just so they hit like right in the middle of my waist, just to give the best like silhouette and flare the skirt out the best. Obviously I could do the size down, but apart from that, could not be happier. This next one I like, but it's not, my favorite is like real gorgeous minimalisty vibes like the silhouette and cut are really beautiful however i do think i would look better in this if i had a taller body like a longer body it almost feels like this wants to sit a lot lower on me and there's a lot of material around here maybe it's meant to be like that but yeah i'm just not convinced this is maybe the best fit for me it's very loose around here as well which is fine but i don't know there's something that's not sitting quite right maybe on my frame maybe it's like my body is not long enough i'm not sure what it is but i definitely think there is better out there for me so maybe not for me but definitely one to consider if you are taller for sure this next one is a little bit different for me never would i normally wear a t-shirt dress this one's really cute it's got like a side slit i wish this was available in black because i mean i might have to double check and see if it is available in black because i think i would get so much wear out of this it's very like cash but kind of easy to dress up i think with like a really cute pair of sunnies like this it would just look so like effortlessly cool if you're just like chilling in your friend's garden and it's really nice and warm but you're like really nice and covered up this is such a great one for me there are increasingly more days at the moment where i don't want like my whole body exposed to the sun like if i didn't want to cover my whole body in sun cream i would just have to do legs and arms for this one. So I think it's a really lovely, easy one to throw on throughout the summer, but I can see how it would not be one for everyone, but I think it's really cool. Let me know your thoughts on like t-shirt dresses like this in the comments. I'm really interested to hear what everyone's take on this is. I love this look. This look I'm really, really enjoying. I would like it in black as well. I think that would just be so cool with like loads of like gold jewelry. That would be amazing. Okay, so I think I'm gonna stay in this for the rest of the afternoon because it's so comfortable. I also am feeling a lot better and I can tell I'm feeling a lot better because I just moved my mirror from here to here and didn't feel like it was going to end me. So, winning! I'm very happy about that. I honestly hate feeling crappy and I was really, really scared that having that vaccine was going to make me feel a bit meh. But actually, feeling good. Feeling a little bit hungry though, so I'm probably gonna make myself a little bite to eat and then settle down and do some work for the afternoon. Thought you'd all love to know that the emotional support coffee is still going strong, as are the alliums in my kitchen. Oh, they bring me so much joy. I find it really funny how they sprout little extra bits off the top of them. So cute. Hello, were you just wiggling your tail at me? <laughs> You're so cute. Do you need to go outside? Do you need to go outside? Do you want to go outside? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, there you go, off you go, bye. I'll tell you what guys, the time is fast approaching for these back doors to go. I'm thinking we go for a beautiful crittle style door on the back.
What do we think? I have been severely procrastinating on anything house related this year. I think with everything lifting, it's just a bit too overwhelming for me. It's actually a lot easier to plan your home improvements during a lockdown. Something has just arrived and I am very excited to share this with you all. So some of you might remember that there's a particular almond butter that I am obsessed with. This one. And this is my last jar of this. Like I am almost out. Scary times. But guess who found herself a six pack of it. This is the kind of six pack that I want in life. I found myself a six pack and I thought, do you know what? There's two left. <laughs> I'm so happy. This is literally the best almond butter ever. It is, for those of you that don't know, that haven't heard me talk about this, it's the Pippin Nut Limited Edition Dark Chocolate Cornish Sea Salt Almond Butter. Uh, honestly, it's unlike anything I've ever eaten in my life. So I have no idea where I'm gonna store these, but I'm very happy I have them. I actually have just realized that I don't really need to be like taking Instagram pics or anything this afternoon. So I think I'm gonna do my skin a little favor and take my makeup off a couple of hours earlier than usual, which just feels like a real treat. I always feel like if I can just do this a couple of times a week, my skin really benefits from it. So if you are working from home a lot and you can, I mean, I feel like most people I know work from home and they're like, I don't put makeup on ever. Anywhere near as much as you do, Suze. If you're like me and you wear it a lot, if you can get the chance to take it off just a couple of hours early every night does you the world of good. No one knocks at the door because I look like an alien. Good morning, everybody. Today, today, do you ever just get through a sentence and realize halfway through that your boyfriend has ruined the pillows on your sofa and now you're just gonna have to carry on with the sofa looking like that? Okay, anyway, today <laughs> I am off out for just a little bit of lunch and I thought I would take you along with me. This is the outfit for the day. I'm actually second guessing this jacket now. I'm not sure, maybe I'll throw on a different leather jacket of which we know that I have many. This one's from Misguided and it's kind of like that oversized vibe. I've then got my mango midi dress on underneath with my Vader trainers because it's basically winter again in the UK and I was not prepared. So I had a long hard think about what worked for me in the kind of later stages of winter as it started to warm up because that's basically where we're at again. And I've gone back to my old trusty mango midi dress which always works well whether it's got a coat over the top, a leather jacket, and then I've thrown on a leather jacket. I did have sliders on but it may get rained on, it may get cold. So I've gone for my Vader trainers which work equally just as well. I'm gonna bring you along to lunch with me on this very gray day. Let's hope we don't get rained on. deliveries how beautiful are these pouch bags these are from west 22 i'm absolutely obsessed with them i actually bought the black and the blue and then amber from west 22 very kindly sent me the khaki which i am in love with and also this little bucket bag as well how cute is that 
I absolutely love it. I think it'll look cute with what I'm wearing today. So those are a nice little surprise for me this morning. And then I also have the newest Vive launch, which I am very excited to try. You know how much I love a good bronzer. This is beautiful. So this is the Modern Bronzer Bronzing Duo in Medium 1 and Medium 2. And this is going to be just perfect for me. I'm so excited to try that out. I'll probably try that out with you guys in the next vlog. And they've also sent these brushes as well, which look absolutely incredible oh my god these are so soft i love them oh my god that's gonna be so great for contour how snazzy are these it is finally lovely weather again my hydrangeas have finally finished being beaten up by the rain <laughs> i feel like i need to support these guys i'm also very sad today because something has been at my strawberries even though i have a cage on them this strawberry was like laying on a leaf like right down the bottom like literally on top of the mud and it ended up i saw it this morning it was over there in the cage how how is that possible honestly those strawberries will be one of life's mysteries because i don't understand how they keep getting gobbled up but they do i just wanted a nice strawberry harvest this year you know however my apple is growing very very happy about this the little bag trick is uh doing bits broccoli number one has had it but broccolis two and three over here are on their way i think i need to pull this out soon guys this is out of control i think we have tomato number one on the way I am so grateful to finally be having a nice like weather day. It's lifting my spirits a little bit, along with the fact that I tanned this morning. I think you'll hear more about this in my next vlog. But yeah, I always feel better when I tan a little bit. But other than that, still feeling a little bit wobbly. Hello, noisy little stomper. Hello, little stomper. You're being very distracting. But yeah, other than that, I just kind of want to hide myself at the moment like i have this real need want like instincts to just run away and hide myself when i'm not feeling very good you are so distracting so yeah still feeling very emotionally wobbly but i think it's just gonna be one of those weeks i've just realized i'm really not holding the camera very straight but we move and we'll get through it but i think that's gonna be where i leave this vlog i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video or enjoyed it as much as you could have given the content i don't know maybe it's just me that feels sad and the rest of you really enjoyed the video but yeah i think i will take some time off at some point soon but i have already got a few videos in the filming process so this isn't it for me you will still see me and it might just be that i drop down a video um just to kind of like make things manageable or i have a little break i haven't decided slight workaholic so really not up for committing do anything that involves not working but yeah i definitely think that would help me so if you just see a little bit less of me that is why but yeah i hope you're all doing really well and you're all having the best day possible and i'll see you guys again very soon